Welcome to PC Mac. In today's video, we are going to continue our last video that is Nextcloud Pi installation on Open Media Vault. In this video, we are going to show you how you can go and configure your Nextcloud Pi. So let's do it. First of all, let's just go ahead and open the next cloud pie and then we will move to the setting then we will move to the configuration of next cloud pie so we are going to use the last password that we have saved so now we are here on next cloud and if we want to open the configuration panel what we need to do we need to just move here to next cloud pie and click on it and it will open this configuration page that is on 4443 so let's just put the password in here and log in so now I'm inside the next cloud Pi configuration page so in the start of the first video I already told you about that uh, my IP doesn't allow me to do a port forward so that's why both the ports are closed 80 and 443 but I'll show you the next thing that you can do in this configuration page so first of all we need to move to NC admin and here we can set the password for our next cloud admin user so let's just go ahead and set a password and if you want you can change the username as well but let the username as it is and put a new password here and if everything goes good uh, it will show you a green circle a green dot and if anything goes wrong it will show you a red circle now this one is good now the next option is HTTPS only that is by default check that's why it's on HTTPS now the next is NC limits here you can set the limit of the maximum file size if you want to set the memory limits PHP thread and Redis memory so this is the default you can upload a 10G file 10 GB file to your next cloud now go to the NC password here we can reset the password for next cloud pi panel on which we are right now so let's just go ahead and set a password here as well so the new password is set here as well and let's move to the nc pretty url so this option will enable you to set a pretty url like any url from duck dns or any other dns provider website from which you can get a dynamic dns address that can be set through this URL option how we can use it I'll show you in the later part of the video now here is the periodically generated previews of the gallery this will make the browsing of the gallery much smoother so it's already enabled so NC scan auto will scan these paths which we will set here in case of videos photos and document it will automatically scan those path and show it on our next cloud pie screen now here is the next option nc trusted domain so here we can set our trusted domain the third one is the ip address of our next cloud pie and the first one i have set to my duck dns address i have set a next cloud pie dns address duck dns address so let me just go ahead and show you how you can set up duck dns here but for this address to work the port should be forwarded on your router let me just go ahead and show you how you can go ahead and configure it you need to open your duck dns website and log in with your google credential or any other credential through which you were registered here so when i open duck dns i'll open uh, I'll log in with my Google credentials and once I logged in you can see only one domain is here next cloud Pi PC Mac from here we need to go back to our configuration page and move down and here we can see duck DNS when we click on it you need to put the domain address here that you have created on duck DNS and the token number from the top you can set it here and then apply once you apply it will search it over the internet and if it finds it then it will set it as enabled now once we do that we will have one more option that is let's encrypt 
we can use this one as well so we need to just copy the domain address from here go to the let's encrypt option paste it here and then put the email address and then just click on apply to check whether it's detected or not right now my ports are not forwarded that's why this option might not work for me I'll just show you that it will generate an error message for us it will show us a red dot next to apply so it's waiting for the verification so you can see there is a red dot because of the ports not forwarded so here are some other option DNS mask you can set the DNS mask here and you can select the forward port here and your trusted proxies here apart from that you can also move down for the update option I have already checked all the options if you want set your next cloud to automatically updates you can check it here auto updates for next cloud pi these option you can check it will periodically get the latest update for next cloud pi through which you can just go ahead and get the latest update from the next cloud pi server directly you can also enable the unattended upgrades I have enabled everything to test that everything is working fine or not now once everything is done what you need to do you need to move here and click on this icon for next cloud or you just need to right click and open link in the new tab and it will directly take you to the next cloud pi but we have already uh, changed the password so it will definitely ask for a new password so I'm just waiting it to load and then we will put the new password in and log in now I'll go ahead and show you how you can uh, set up a drive a hard drive here to use external hard drive in between let me just go ahead and connect a flash drive to my next cloud pipe so we can just go ahead and configure it so the drive is connected let's scan the drive so this one is available let's click on it wipe yes and a quick so this one is done close then go to file system and uh, let's create and select the drive it's right here name it as let's name it as next cloud yes so we are formatting it in like we are connected in ext4 format so this is done the drive is connected let's click on it and uh, it's initializing so the device is online now let's just click here and mount the device so this is done from here now let's move to the shared folder and uh, add a folder let's name it as next cloud pi select the drive select the drive next cloud next cloud pi and save so we are not getting any error message now and uh, let's move to ACL and select PI PC Mac move down to admins read and write and then move down to docker and let's select some other options as well that is available here so a root is also important and uh, we need uh, the samba as well so let's select the permission and uh, others uh, let's leave it as it is apply so this one is done and the privilege is also set to all the three accounts save now let's apply all the changes I'm showing you these steps because some of the users are facing problem with permissions and everything uh, that's that is taking a little bit time so once this is done what we need to do we need to move to Samba and then we need to create the share here add the drive and select the next cloud pi and uh, save apply the changes so the next cloud pi folder is here that is shared 
so let's just go ahead and check it in the samba folder where it's available or not so our next cloud folder is available next cloud pi let's just go ahead and move to apps and from here you can see active disabled updates so we have an update for the calendar let's just leave it as it is your apps is right here let's move down okay so what we need to do we need a app okay, so we need to click on disable app and we can see the disabled apps here so external storage support that we need to enable once we click on enable it will check and enable this option and it will be moved to active apps from disabled apps so let's just move down and uh, we can see right here on, it's on the top external storage support is enabled now now what we need to do is click here again and go to settings once we go into settings I don't know why it's running slow yeah so we have stuck so we have external storage here on under administration and here in personal so first of all we need to set up our external storage here and then we need to move here to the external storage to check whether it's set it up correctly or not so which type of storage we are going to use here it's samba that we are going to use and it automatically took our username and password because the option is set it up to username and password now the option is uh, we need the host name the host name is the local host we just need to put the IP address here and then the share name so the share name we have created is uh, right here that is next cloud pi so let's just go ahead and open the samba so i have created uh, the samba share name as next cloud and we need to allow all the option allow user to mount external storage from here then uh, the configuration name and then the folder name next cloud pi and here we need to use our open media vault user credential because the samba is shared on our open media vault so this will be it uh, so it's done now we need to move to external storage on the top and from here you can see the path is selected once we click on it it will show an error message once we click on it it will again recheck and give us this right option now we will move to the dashboard and here we'll see all the options the weather is loading because i have already provide the access of my location here now we'll move to files and under we under the files we have the external storage and next is right here i have created one folder with the name one inside next cloud so let's just try to move something here in this folder to check whether it's working fine or not so let's just go ahead and copy one movie and then paste it here and uh, once this copy done i'll try to play the movie so i have moved some files here let's just go ahead and try to play uh, this is my one of my videos so let's click and try to play it's getting an error message let's try to play the other one i think the inbuilt player is not working so we can move to apps again and download the video player so video player is here let's just move back to files and try to play it again and to check whether the sync is working properly or not i have also created two more folders from here and let's just go ahead and name this folder rename this folder to movies and let's check whether the changes have done on our samba server or not so we need to move to next cloud pi and as you can see the folder name changed to movies let's just open it and uh, in between let's just go back to the next cloud and uh, 
move to picks i have moved some picks here uh, let's go ahead and check whether they are working or not so you can see it's working absolutely fine and then once we move back to the movies and uh, try to play let's try to play this video so this one is also working we can change the picture in mode from here play the video welcome to PC Mac in today's video I'm going to show you so it's also working that means our external drive is also connected successfully and we can use this drive to move the data from our computer to the drive as well now you can also try this method on your next cloud by setup and if you're facing any problem you can write me down in the comment section I'll try to answer your queries and that's it for today if you like my work please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification for my latest videos share this video with your family and friends this will help our channel to grow thanks for watching bye bye take care have a nice day